With this video, what I want to do is just explain uh, a different approach to uh, chord progression. Now, uh, if you're playing one through eight and trying to follow, you know, you got eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and one being the same. Uh, the proper uh, progression would be this. You know, the one major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, six minor, seven, just that diminish, augment it, and then back to the one. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a much easier way to do that. Uh, remember, I showed you one to the four to the five. All you need to know is the one major, the four major, and the five major. All right. And just to be able to invert them, one, four, five, back to the one. Now, just say this with me. One, four, one, four, five, one, five, one. That movement sounds like this. Uh, one, when you play the two, play the four chord major. The three, play the one major. The fourth note, play the four chord major. Five, play the five major. Six, play the one major. Seven, play the five major. And back to the one. So you're saying one, four, one, four, five, one, five, one. It sounds like this. One, four, one, four, five, one, five, one. And you learn that in every key. Uh, one, four, one, four, five, one, five, one. One, four, one, four, five, one, five, one. So when you're following, if you're going to go from the one to the six, to the four, to the five, you're gonna play, you know, one, six, to the four, to the five. You play the one, the six, you're gonna play the one chord, remember? To the four, to the five. Now, I know that that's going to take a little getting used to. You have to learn a one, you know, you have to learn a one, the four, and the five, and then just where to place them. So let's just go through an exercise. Let's just run through it. Uh, and then, you know, we're going to play the scale. Play the scale in your left hand. And in your right hand, you're going to play the one, four, one, four, five, one, five, one. So I'm going to say, let's just start here. One, four, one, four, five, one, five, one. 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 And so on and so forth until you go all the way through the scale. And when you learn songs, if they give you the bass note or you can figure out where the bass is, using this theory, you can automatically know where to go with your chord. This is basic, but it, it, it'll be very accurate in your church service. Thank you.